going to show you a cool way of using this Chrome extension called Color Pick Eyedropper. It's already added to my Chrome, but when you add it, you end up with this little icon on the top bar here. And when you hover over it, it says Color Pick Eyedropper. So my first step is to go into Pick Monkey and hover over Design, choose Custom and my size is 1000 by 100. I chose that size because I made my site 1000 pixels wide. So Design, Custom, 1000 by 100. That will give me a nice header. And on the butterfly, on the overlays, I'm going to upload my own, which is this nice picture here, which I found on a nice Google image search for pictures that you're allowed to reuse. Pull it out to fill the space. You can move it about so that it's just how you like it. And then save it give it a file name and save it. I have already saved mine. Then on your site, which when you first make it will be the plain standard colour, you're going to go on the wheel and manage site. I'm going to click down the bottom here, right down the bottom left, themes, colours and fonts. And the first thing I'm going to click on is Site Header and upload that header image here. So you're looking for this image icon here and go and find your header. This is mine, Header Test. And there it is at the top. Now it puts a repeat on automatically. You can click on the options here and just turn the repeat off and then it's already at the top so that's okay so there's my header now if I save that and show you what the site looks like now I've got a nice colorful header but I want this background color here to match one of the colors in my header so I'm going to go back to manage site themes, colours and fonts. Now I'm on entire page at the top here. On the background, on the background colour here. At the moment it's the theme which is the grey colour. So I want to find one of these colours here. Now if I click on the paint bucket it gives you some colour options but these colour options won't necessarily match the colors that you've got in your image. So what we're going to do is use the color pick, the eyedropper color pick. I'm going to click on it and once it wakes up reload the page. Okay, so I'm going to reload that page Okay, so I'm going to click on it. Then it gives you this box that you can move over your page to click precisely the colour that you want to use. Can you see the numbers moving in the white box? This is the hex code for the colour. Web pages use hex code, so I'm going to choose one of these nice blues, this one here, and then it puts the hex colour already highlighted there so I can just go command C to copy it close that and then on the color here we're not going to choose one of these colors here can you see the box down here it says enter color hex value I'm going to click in there and paste that color and hit return now when I save that and go back to my site you can see the background is now a nice blue colour and the blue matches one of the colours within my header because I used the colour pick eyedropper to pick one of those nice colours.